Hello, analyzing a transaction in which cash is received for work that is done for a client or a customer. So we can see what is happening here. We're going to do work. We did work and we're receiving cash at the same point in time. We're going to analyze this in terms of our accounting equation. That equation being assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. We're going to have to start to memorize those assets, those liabilities, those equity. Assets include cash, accounts receivable, supplies. We've got liabilities including accounts payable. We got the owner's equity including capital as well as the income statement, including revenue and all the other expenses. We are going to start off here with a beginning balance. So before this transaction happens, we're saying that we all we have now is we've got cash and we've got capital. That means that assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity because all the green accounts over here equal all the orange accounts, liabilities and equity. So the left side equals the right side. Now, the first question I generally ask is, is cash affected within this transaction? We did work. We received cash. We can see cash here is affected. Cash is going up. Therefore, cash is going to go up with the new transaction. Add in a new line, new transaction. Cash is going up. What's that going to do to assets, of course? Increase the assets. So assets are going up. What's going to be the other side of the transaction? Why do we get cash? We earned it. We earned it at the same point in time. Therefore, we're going to call that revenue. Remember that cash and revenue are two different things. Revenue represents the earning of cash. Revenue is increasing as well. We can see that if this side of the equal sign assets go up and revenue is the other thing that's affected, that means that it must go up increasing owner's equity. It's also useful to note that revenue and expenses income statement accounts will only go one way, meaning clients will only pay us. We're not going to pay the clients. Now, if we did a problem, if we had a problem with the job that we did, we may have to pay them in terms of damages and that would be an expense that would go up but we generally have revenue only going one way it's only going to increase if assets increase equity increases what happens to liability it's going to stay the same notice what's going on with net income here so we know that assets equal liabilities plus owners equity we also know that net income increased from this transaction because if we look at the income statement accounts revenue minus expenses revenue went up so income went up as well, the whole income statement being part of owner's equity in this case. Now there's one more step with this transaction. That will be that we started with this balance. We then have this transaction. We then need an ending balance. So if we add these all up, then we're saying 70,000 plus 7,000 equals 77,000. Zero plus zero equals zero. Supply zero plus zero equals zero. And the liability zero plus zero equals zero. The capital 70,000 plus zero equals 70,000. Revenue, 0 plus 7,000 equals 7,000, and then we bring these zeros down as well. Then if we add everything up, we should still remain in balance, meaning our accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, should remain in balance. That's the case because the total assets here add up to 70,000, plus the liabilities of 0, plus the equity 70 plus 7 equals the 70,000. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. We are in balance, and net income as a total up to this point is at $7,000.